A um, couple of other things that changed in v.next. Okay. Um, this goes into um, that first sentence that you read up there. Membership provider has been, actually, it's been a boon to a lot of people. But over about the past three, four years, the assumption of how people want to log into your site has significantly changed. Not so much if you're doing intranet applications, but if you're doing internet applications, the need and or desire to have a membership system has gone way down. People would much rather you, I have a Facebook ID, log in through that, or I've got a Google Plus account, or I've got a Microsoft Live account, or any one of a whole bunch of other things, Twitter being the other one that's supported out of the box. But actually, any OAuth provider is supported here. Okay. Now all of a sudden, I don't have to give, I don't, I don't have to create another password that I have to remember. I can just simply hook into the auth stuff that's already there. Yeah. Well, I actually haven't run into a problem with the uh, OAuth and third-party credentials there. Are they compatible yet with through Owen with uh, PCLs or not yet? Oh, I, I wasn't able to add Owen properly to a PCL. I, I do not know the answer to that off the top of my head. I haven't played with PCLs enough. Yeah, I mean, it was about two months ago, like, Owen would just throw errors trying to get it through NuGet, so I couldn't use a lot. But Not, to be fair, I don't, I don't know. And it's okay. the kind of thing that might, for Owen I can see, because it's fairly new, might not have been PCL <laughs> yet. Por PCL, by the way, portable class libraries. Uh, and, and usable in, across different platforms. Yeah. Because I know, for example, I mean, uh, Instinct says, well, Instinct says that, that they're going to focus the Owen stuff on the things that they expect it to run on. Yeah. Not so much phone, not so much Silverlight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not really I so much Windows 8.1. Yeah, store I see them, you know, with them unifying the Windows operating system, them wanting but to... Yeah, do... Okay, so yeah, I say I want to unify the Windows operating system. Do you think that's going to be 100%? No. <laughs> But I could see them not even, I, I mean, the demand to run Owen on a phone or in a store app, I could see them not coming to that and implementing that for a while, if ever. Fortunately, you can make a pull request. <laughs> you can create your own Owen component that's compliant. That's even a more likely scenario. You can put it up on GitHub and people can use it and contribute to it. But I don't see that. I can see them not doing it simply for that reason. It's they don't expect that. Yeah. You know, and they've got limited resources. As much as it seems like Microsoft is big and should have infinite resources, they don't. Yeah. Well, it was just a trial thing yeah. that I was trying. Yeah. It's like, does right. this work in mobile? Yeah. So that's yeah. why I tried. <laughs> well, they were. They were at one of the Connect uh, sessions. They were actually asked whether or not you could run. Does this mean, does, does the KRE mean you could run, uh, you could create a web server on Android or iPhone? Okay, the guy's response was, okay, I'm not sure why you'd want to. You could probably make it work on an Android, but there's no way you'd ever be able to make it on an iPhone. Right? They don't, they block too many things. There's too many restrictions on, they don't allow applications that accept incoming requests. Because yeah. massive friggin' security holes. Right? That's what I want. I want my phone to be a web server. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. yeah. Cool idea. Probably not something you want to implement and actually deploy <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's one of the things they've done is they've changed how identity is being processed. So now, when you go through the process of setting up, and this, by the way, applies to both old and new MVC projects, right? so this is not purely uh, MVC5, you can specify and easily integrate um, accounts from uh, Google, Facebook, Twitter. Okay? And the process is actually very straightforward. So if I come into here, I'm going to open up. Now, what you're seeing here is this was the starter application. And basically what I did in the starter application, when you go through the process of creating a new application, and I should, this will probably close my... Uh, 
uh, just do it this way. So when you come in through one of the starter applications in here, you'll notice that I have this change authentication. So my change authentication allows me to specify um, whether I want to have Windows off, whether I want to use an organizational account, whether I want to use individual user accounts, which is allows me, among other things, to use OAuth as my provider, and no authentication at all. And if you pick individual user accounts, The example you get has got some functionality. So if I come in here, if I do a quick search on Google. So basically, again, you'll notice that there's a startup class here for me as well. I'm configuring a whole bunch of things related to authentication in here. Specifically, you can see that I am creating um, a login path, I've got the fact that I'm going to be using a cookie to be able to pull this off, um, specifying whether I'm going to use external sign-in, a two-factor sign-in. I've also got all of these things right here. All right. So I've got the ability, if this is Microsoft account, this is Twitter, this is Facebook, this is Google authentication. Now for you to make this work, you actually have to go to developer.google.com or developers.google.com I can never remember which one you actually have to set up an app on it you have to actually enable uh, Google Plus authentication on it as part of that process it produces a client ID and a client secret okay the client ID client secret so now what happens is I'm going to show this in two different ways um, I believe if I do it this way, run my application. Spin up, spin up, spin up. Okay, so you'll notice right now the only way I have to log in is an email and a password. Nothing else. Through the power of uncommenting. I can use another service to log in. Oh look, here's a request for permission. So basically what I've done now is I've gone off and I've hooked up my Here's my example. Uh, are you okay with allowing this to happen? And I can say, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, you know something? This is my. This is actually my problem. I, when I do this, I'm already logged in as Google Plus, so it actually picks up who I am and sends me back to uh, the wrong place. I actually, when I configured, I configured sign up dash Google and it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be a, something it's supposed to be a register page but that's the configuration in my in my uh, in my Google developer account but it's grabbing my system identity and in fact if I was to go do I have an easy way to get there uh, it doesn't really matter it's not worth it to, it's not worth it to go through the process but basically what you bump into is you do have that process and it will go and it will grab your credentials and you can very easily add that to any of your accounts any project you have I should say talking to any one of those four accounts the OAuth provider on its own is a little more complicated right? because it now starts to depend on what the OAuth, what the OAuth provider actually supports the four Microsoft Live, Twitter, Facebook, Google support it out of the box automatically OAuth, the the uh, generic OAuth is supported, but you're gonna you have to start doing a little bit more with respect to changing some of the UIs and making sure that they're going to the right places. But completely feasible to be able to pull off, all nicely built into to the latest thing that's going on. 